And we're live. Welcome back for another Deadline stream, everyone. Good morning, all. Or good afternoon, depending on where you are. Uh, I know lots of you have been saying on these Deadline streams that you'd like me to have a guest. So uh, we're trying it out. For the first time ever, we've got a guest on the stream. Uh, and it's some guest. We've got FPL rank one. Number one in the world, Tom joins us. Tom, how you doing, mate? I have unmuted you, by the way. Oh, have I? Hello? Or does he join us? Tom? <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, we did a test just before we went live and it was working fine just a minute ago. Tom, can you hear me, mate? I'll call you back, Tom. Hang on. Hello? Maybe he doesn't join us. <laughs> Let me message him on Discord. He doesn't join us. Hello. Oh, you're coming through now. Tom? Oh, sorry. Tom, here he is. <laughs> sorry, yeah. I, don't, I, I might have forgot to unmute you. That might have been me. Don't worry. Sorry, guys. How you doing, Tom? Sorry. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, mate? Really yeah, good it's good to have you on the stream. He's having an absolutely insane season. Uh, number one in the world. He's about 11 points ahead. Uh, so, yeah, good to have you on the stream, Tom. Obviously, uh, use your format. If you have questions for myself uh, or Tom, then get your questions in the chat and we'll both answer your questions. Um, Tom's going to join us for like the first hour uh, or thereabouts. So he's going to hop off early because obviously he has to sort his team out. Like he's got bigger priorities than the deadline stream. So um, yeah, he'll be dipping a bit later and then you're stuck with me for the last hour. So uh, welcome all to the stream. Jamie, uh, Ruta V, Bobby Joe, uh, Nat the One, Haffy, Lancera, uh, Say Attacker. I saw quite a few people saying hi Ross and hi Harry. You're on the wrong stream, lads. Uh, yeah, welcome to the stream. How are you feeling today, Tom? How's the nerves? A strange one, isn't it? I say it. So, every like pre deadline, it's quite uh, it's quite it's quite scary coming up to a new week, but yeah, it's every week it's been fine so far. So, even if you know it's one of them weeks where you happen to drop out of first place, there's still not the end of the world, it's still make it up. So, just gonna hope that. Um, things go away yet again. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I was about to say you're taking it well in your stride. By the way, if you if you guys aren't following on Twitter, it's uh, P O W A S H O W A, and you've been saying stuff like you know if you do drop off number one, then at least you can say you were there. So yeah, you're taking yeah. it well in your stride. You're in a good position, right? What chips have you got left? I've got the wild card and bench boost left, so yeah, there's still that to go. So things can change before then. Do you have a plan of when you're going to use those? I think it's it's pretty obvious that it's going to be after this next double, in 34, and then we're going to try and wildcard into a bench boost, 37. Yeah. I think a lot of us are, are planning on the same thing, like wildcard in 35, uh, yeah, bench boost in 37. I'm in, I'm in the same position as you. I've got my wildcard and bench boost left. Uh, people are asking to see your team, Tom, so I've pulled it up on the screen. Yeah. Uh, what are your loose plans this week? You've got, have you got one transfer? You've got one, right, not two. One, yeah. Obviously, I won't be captain in Leno. That's just to uh, keep all things close to my chest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you've got uh, um, Leno captain on your screenshot, but I assume you're not captain in Leno, right? No, um, it's, it's difficult because obviously Foden's got the... You know, when I took that picture, Foden didn't have the knock. Um, I'll be eyeing that one up because... Um, I've only got the one Arsenal player in my team at the minute and uh, everyone else has got three mm. so I'm um, debating on whether or not I get those Arsenal players in this week or do I get them in next week because I'm going to I'm gonna have to have them in at some point for the double so yeah. that's also in my thoughts but if, if, if it's one of them with Foden if if uh, there's any sort of chance that he plays at home to lose and I'm, I've got to be thinking about it yeah I mean, I've got the same question for the chat. What are you guys doing with Foden? And what are you going to do if there's not a leak, for example? Do you just chance it that he plays? Or do you guys think that Foden doesn't play? Let us know in chat. Welcome to the stream, Me. Flames. Go on, Tom. Oh, the Foden one, sorry. I think it's... it's um, you know, we can't predict straight away. We might not get the news because it's, it's, it's three o'clock. It's not the early kickoff, off But um, it's going to be one of them for me. He's either going to start or he's going to not play at all. Yeah. So, 
you you got a nice feeling that even if you do keep him, you're probably going to get your bench off um, in, in his place if he doesn't play anyway. Yeah. So not going to be a worry of him coming on later on in the game. I don't think. We're talking about him off air just now, and yeah, I think he doesn't play. So it's a difficult one. Like you say, if there's no early team news, then yeah, what do you do? Do you just play him and you know have someone on your bench that's decent to come on? John's benching him, he says. He reckons he won't start at all. I mean, I suppose a cameo is not out of the question, but like they've got the second leg against Real Madrid. Is it 3 all on mm. aggregate? Can you remember? Yeah. 3 all. 3 all. Yeah, so like it's that's the priority. Like, if there's ever a game you could rotate, it's got to be looting at home. So yeah. I reckon there'll be lots of rotation. And yeah, I've got two free transfers. So obviously, as always, we'll keep out for early team news. Uh, I think City's the big one. Boona, don't you start Boona or you're getting muted, mate. I don't I don't know if you know who Boona is, but he's a proper troll with team news. So be careful, Tom. I would hate for world number one to fall into one of Boona's well, fake leaks. With the leaks. So, yeah. Yeah, really, I mean, you've got to be careful, aren't you, if you read too many. Too many people always like to pretend that there's a leak. We'll keep an so. eye on FPL Tony. Like he's the main one. Uh, Joe Antro has just become an FPL Focal member. Thanks very much for that, uh, Joe. Appreciate your support. Um, any more, more questions in the chat? FPL Raptor. That is not the real FPL Raptor. I'm pretty sure he's live as well. Uh, Natda1 says, what's the best captaincy? Yeah, I'm interested to know. Let us know in chat who your captain is. We'll stick a captain poll up. Uh, I know you're keeping your cards close to your chest, Tom. So what you could vote in this poll because the poll is like anonymous. Uh, and just don't tell us who you're going to captain. I guess the two candidates are uh, Haaland and Salah, right? It's two big ones, isn't it? I think it'd be, it'd be kind of somewhat foolish if you knew if you knew Haaland would play at home to Luton and, and you didn't captain him. Um, that's that's a big one, isn't it? But with with Salah as well, it's you know midfielder points worth more for a goal. Uh, it's, it was the exact fixtures opposite in the season, wasn't it? When um, Haaland didn't play. I got Salah vice captain off my team, and he scored, got an assist away at Palace. So, I, feel, I feel for anyone, game, by the way. Man. You know, remember a couple of weeks ago when Haaland and Salah, uh, Saka didn't play, and some people were on Haaland captain Saka vice. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. brutal. That's the sort of thing that could just like if you're in the running for rank one. Imagine if that was you. And you just get super unlucky with a captain and vice, and you end up getting zero from your captains. Very unlucky. A lot of variance in this game. So, yeah, early on. thoughts on the captain poll. Haaland, 63%. Salah, 26 uh, Son, 3%. And then 8% other. <clears throat> Interesting. I'm surprised Son's so low. In fact, there was a few price changes last night. And uh, I'm sure that Son went down. Yeah, here we go. I mean, Son went down last night. Solanke went down last night. I'm surprised Solanke's dropping. I know, like, have you got Solanke? I've got Slanky, yeah. Because they got the double like next week, and literally. It. Unless it's free hitters or yeah. something, perhaps that are, that are selling him. Uh, Salah went up, the Brom went up, Eight Nori went up, Havertz went up. Have you got Eight Nori, Tom? Yeah, I've got Eight Nori. Are you starting him at the yeah. moment? Yeah, the the press conference seemed quite positive with him. I think um, it, it it depends what you you're willing to chance with him. I think. It's not a brilliant fixture anyway. I don't. I don't. The Forest are. You know, they're not. They're not awful at home, but in terms of my bench, it's a pretty no-brainer. I think play him. A bit of chance that he's going to play, unless I find out something before three, before eleven, that he's definitely not playing. Yeah. But annoyingly, we don't tend to get much on Wolves because I'd love to know if Huang starts as well. I've had him from ages yeah. ago. Do you remember that? I don't know if you fell into the trap of buying him for Sheffield United. When they had a home game there, and I bought him, and he got injured straight away, and I've still got him from that week. Uh, but yeah, this is I a quite. Him that week. Oh, did you? Okay, well, you did better yeah, than me just... then. Uh, I've got the quote from O'Neill. He said, "Ryan will travel with the group. Uh, he's had a minor issue, but I envisage him being part of the match day squad. Uh, Juan Cunha and Dawson also in the squad. So I think Cunha's going a bit under the radar as like a cheap double gaming striker, but um." Yeah, it sounds quite promising as far as eight Nori. So, I think if I had him, I'd start him unless I had a really good option first on bench, um, you know, like Gusto or something like that. 
I don't think he'll be long for Huang anyway, regardless of this week. I think he'll be back for the double, definitely. Yeah, I mean, he's a nice pick for the double as well, ain't Nori? How many players have you got at the moment that have a double in 34? I think seven or eight, maybe, off the top of my head. Um, I've, got, I've got a few, I've got that. But I think, I think it's eight. Eight, yeah. I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably have ten, oh, maybe no, eleven, so depending on what happens tonight, or this stream, sorry, in terms of leaks and so on. Vijay, thanks for the super chat. Uh, and also one from Oscar. He says, Ake to White uh, and Foden to Saka or Luis Diaz or Sarabia. So Ake to White. Ake to White. Okay, yeah, I like that. Foden to Saka. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So he's going to go Ake to White, double game week 34. Foden, he might not play to Saka or Diaz. I think I prefer Saka. Would you agree with that? To Diaz. Yeah. Yeah, it depends how it depends how risky you want to be. Uh, I like Diaz as an option if, if you can afford to get him. I think he's uh, pretty nailed in that Liverpool team at the minute. Are you looking Saka's... to bring him in for Foden if you have, or is that a minus four for yeah, this week? Liverpool, Liverpool. Okay. So it Saka, someone that some like I hate not owning. I've only owned him for I've only not owned him for one week this season. That was last week. Yeah. Okay. Uh, He's, he's always, you know, he's always capable of going big, if, if not get a penalty. <laughs> yeah, I think I would do that. So I would do Ake to White and Foden to Saka. If you're asking which one, if you had to pick one, I would do the Foden to Saka first, just because Saka's got more upside. Uh, Novus says, hi both, Kelleher, Kelleher or Petrovic? And he also asks, Burn or Van Heck? So I'd say Petrovic. What would you say, Tom? Is it between Kelleher and Petrovic? Yeah, Kelleher or Petrovic. Kelleher will be out of the team pretty soon. Uh, for this week in particular, I, I'd play Kelleher though. Yeah. Unless at home. I'll see, I can't. Neither team are keeping clean sheets at the minute. Yeah, good point. Yeah, um, if it's who to start, Kelleher. If it's who to buy, Petrovic. Yeah. Just because longer term, the they've one got you want doubles. For a bit long term, yeah. And then it's Burn or Van Heck. Both got a double game at 37. Um, this week, Burn has got Spurs, so you wouldn't want to start him. I think I prefer Burn, just about. What would you say, Burn or Van Heck? Um, yeah, because Newcastle's fixture running is quite good from now to the end of the season. So yeah. Once you get this week out of the way, I think Burn probably edges it. Brighton's not now to clean sheets, but both pretty good options for Price. And there's a question um, from Darren. He says, apparently Gabriel's bench this week. Is it false info? I've not heard anything of Gabriel. Obviously, Gabriel's uh, a slight doubt. People have been speculating because he wasn't seen in training. And um, this is what Arteta said in his conference. He said he's hopeful everyone's going to be okay uh, for Gamic 33, but he did hint at a few issues. Saka was seen in training, but Gabriel wasn't. I haven't seen anything that says um, Gabriel's benched, so... Could be false info. Be right, I mean. feeling that. Yeah. Uh, and they play tomorrow, don't they? It's not today. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Half four, I think. Yeah, I've not heard anything on Gabriel. I mean, I'm starting him, so I think he'll have a play or not at all. Um, I think he'll be fine. I mean, there could be other reasons he missed out. It could be personal reasons, could be media duties. Yeah, it could be a day off because of the Champions League. So, um, yeah, we'll keep an eye in case we get anything nearer the deadline, but... I think Gabriel's fine. You've got Gabriel, haven't you, Tom? Uh, yeah. It's one of them. Everyone's got him, but obviously I still want him to play because I don't want my defender off the bench to come in. <laughs> mm. Jones from Tongs uh, says, start Bradley or Gusto. I would start Bradley. Uh, he wasn't used. We didn't start in the Champions League, did he? Who would, you, who would you start, Bradley or Gusto? I think I'd play Bradley this week. I think he's still got another week in him before because... Um, don't think that Trent will be back yet. And he got yeah. rested in the week, didn't he? Yeah, I agree I with that. Happens. It's probably the last week. He might start one in the double, but Trent was probably. on the bench in the Champions League, so I think, um, yeah, it might be the last week he'd get out of Bradley, but I would start him for sure. Um, so how much the clean sheet odds? Let me pull those up. Clean sheet odds are there. 
City top this week. Oh yeah, I haven't even actually talked about what I might be doing. I've got two free transfers and I've not really got anywhere obvious to spend them. So if there's like early team news that Lewis starts, I think I might be doing Zabane to Lewis, which is a bit of a left field move. But my team looks all right already. So I think I might do that and just spend the one transfer unless there's a leak that Harlan doesn't start. But I'll talk more about my team in a minute. Um, Thin Tall Wales says, will KDB start? Do you reckon KDB starts, Tom? I think there's a good chance that he starts, but it's one of them games where you're going to rest him then. He just because he was going to play in the week, wasn't he? But he, he said he um, told him just before the game and he wasn't feeling it. So yeah. he's going he's gonna to definitely want him to play second leg. Sure. So... It was an illness, think, apparently, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. I've, I imagine want he starts. 60 minutes, maybe, sort of thing, 70 minutes. Yeah, that's what, that, that'd be my guess. So, yeah. yeah, it's a good week to be a KDB owner. I mean, last time they played each other, uh, City and Luton, that was away at Kenilworth Road, and that ended 6 2. And Harlan scored five. De Bruyne assisted four of those five. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a big one this week for captaincy. I mean, Harlan's leading the poll at the moment then Salah, and then Other. If you went Other on the captain poll, let us know in chat, who's your Other? 6% is higher than I thought. I thought it would be pretty much Harlan Salah, and that's it. So if anyone's gone Other, let us know. I mean, can you uh, give us a, a reveal, Tom, if it's going to be one of those two, Harland or Salah, or are you looking at Other as well? No, it's, it's going to be one of them two, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh, fair. Harlan would be in the top, and if I knew he was going to play... No, I think I'm gonna. I've been quite conservative with my captains, and that's the best options. Is those two conservatively as well? Just uh, think. Um, I have a feeling Harland will play, but I'm obviously no one's sure until game. And uh, one of them, I don't think he'd come on. If yeah. He didn't play. Yeah, I agree. You mentioned there by the way that. You're generally conservative with your captains here. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but we did a video uh, together earlier this week, and you mentioned that you're often happy to just go for the safe option and just generally play it safe. So that's quite encouraging that you don't have to go completely crazy to get to rank one. Like you, you're often making sensible decisions, right? And making decisions to protect rank, like last game week. Like the week when Salah got one point at home to Sheffield United, I captained him then. Yeah, I did as well. I still can't believe that. Uh, hey, we, all, we all did it together. We've got a super chat from uh, Guy Forster. He says, sell Sun to bring in Diaz and Van Dyke or a double game at Keeper. I don't, I don't know if I'd make that move this week. It feels a bit sideways at best to sell Sun before Newcastle. Like they've got so many players out Newcastle. Uh, Livermento, I think, is a doubt. Um, Trippier, I think, is a doubt. Um, Botman and Lascelles are out for the season. I thought I had Newcastle news here, but I don't, so I'll bring that back. I don't think I'd sell some this week for Diaz. I think I'd do that next week. Well, obviously next week, because Spurs blank. What about you, Tom? Would you sell some this week for Diaz? It depends how urgent you want it. I, I, I'm, for me, I, I like this fixture for Son, and I've got him as well. And... Um, you know, I've been thinking about like, how much do I want to risk not having some of them Arsenal midfielders, but Son decided to keep him for this week because um, just pray that he does something in that early game. I think it's it's a good game me. for him. Good game for him. There should be goals in that game. And if he's, if he's gone down in price last night, then yeah, his ownership's obviously dropping fast. So I don't think I would do that. I know you mentioned getting Van Dijk as well, but... Um, bit sideways from in my opinion so I wouldn't do that move uh, CCP says uh, would Julian Alvarez be a good one-week punt what do you reckon Tom Alvarez is oh, a yeah. one-week punt one of them that I'd love to have just for this one week because I'm pretty sure he's going to definitely play and uh, yeah. if I didn't have like next week to consider I'd be thinking about him this week yeah so, I agree with that like yeah if there's news that he starts or that Haaland doesn't start and I think he's a great one week punt. Um, in terms of my team, so I've got two transfers. And if Haaland doesn't start, I'm actually looking at Tony myself because Brentford are home to Sheffield United. 
So I'm looking at that if there's news Haaland doesn't start. And then I'll use a second transfer to go Wang to Luis Diaz. So I'd switch to a 3-5-2 basically uh, and bench Gusto. So I prefer, it's very close. I think Tony and Alvarez are great one-week punts. So yeah, I would do it if there's some team news that he starts. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't risk it. Oh, oh, yes. that... oh, sorry. A... Um, go, go on. Sorry, but it's um, you know, it's one of them games that's really good on paper. Sheffield at home, um, quite a big game for Brentford, isn't it? Sheffield are pretty much on the dog. They're quite dangerous at the minute. You know, when a team yeah. is pretty much on, like I think Brentford is way, way, way more important that they win that game. You, you often see it yeah. where you think, oh, it's the banker that are going to win at home, and then Sheffield will just. Do, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. So I've been thinking about Brentford players for a couple of weeks, but the, just for these little two good games, but they're really big games for Brentford. And they got a two yeah. draw with Chelsea like last week, but uh, yeah, I, f I think Brentford win this one, and I think they score a few, so that's why I'm looking at them. I think Regulon as well, if you're looking for a one week punt in defence, mm. is a good option. Uh, there's a super chat from Aya, he says he's got Huang on his bench and two free transfers, he's got two keepers with a single match in 34, and he's confused about utilising one transfer on a keeper, or Huang to Sarabia, as he's concerned on Huang's minutes, your thoughts? I think if you can afford to bench Huang, then um, I would hold him. So I'd probably I'd probably rather spend a keeper on a double game week keeper. Because like, also, Wolves, they're double game weeks against Arsenal and Bournemouth, so realistically, he's not going to get much against Arsenal, is he, anyway? And then... Now, even if it's a cameo off the bench, and then he's got Bournemouth home. So I think Huang's okay to hold myself. So um, I'd rather spend it on a, a keeper and get an extra fixture there. Uh, Rahim says, bench boost, triple captain, and free hit available. Uh, how to play them? What would you do, Tom, if you basically had the bench boost, triple captain, and free hit at this stage? Well, that's difficult. Because <laughs> obviously... You're going to have to have your team in a certain way set up for one of those uh, double game weeks without the wild card. So it depends if your teams, whichever week, whichever double game week you think that you can target easily, maybe because there's a few weeks to go, I'd target yeah. 37 with your team. Yeah. I'll aim for that one for the bench boost, free hit in um, next week, or even use a triple yeah. captain. I mean, free hit can be quite useful on game week 38 as well. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of teams with different things to play for, and things you can just rip up the team on 37. Yeah, bench boost and then free hit the way out of it. It's not a bad strategy either. <laughs> there's so many ways you can go with that. I mean, I probably would free hit probably a 34, unless you've got a really good team already for 34, in which case you bench boost it. So obviously it depends yeah. on how you're set up. Like if you've got a solid 15 for 34, I'd bench boost it. Otherwise, free hit. And I think I'd bench boost in 37, if not, and then triple captain in 35 on um, Sun or Palmer. That's what I would do. Mm. Um, let's do a, let's do a chip poll, actually. I'm interested to know how many chips people have got left. Um, me and you, we've both got the same two. We've got our wild card and bench boost, but let's see if anyone's got more or less. Uh, how many chips do you have left? Well, so, an one. Not one, two, or three. Yeah, I mean, we both triple captain in the same week, Tom. We used it on Haaland. Uh, was yeah. it 25? We got one goal. Yeah, yeah, for 10 points. Could have been worse, but could have been better. <laughs> I mean, you've played FPL for like, what, 10 years, is it? Or not? This is your ninth season, I think. There's yeah, been some yeah. way worse triple captaincies in the past. Uh, and uh, Mane that week that he got injured in the first match. I don't know if you remember that. I did as well. I did as well. Did I triple captain Manny that week where he got one point, went off injured oh, in the first was, game. Oh, that was brutal. <laughs> that was one of my worst FPL moments. That was rock bottom for me. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was bad that week. Used it on um, uh, Ibrahimovic as well when he missed the penalty at home. Oh, that's brutal. That was a, while. That was a long time ago, that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a throwback, Ibra in the Prem. It almost feels like that didn't happen, like Ibrahimovic stint in the Premier League. Nice. I always hate that chip. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I mean, it's never, never paid off for me massively. Let us know in chat, what's your favourite chip? What's your favourite chip in the game? 
Wild card, triple captain, bench boost or free hit? Favourite chip? I, I, I suppose the obvious answer is wild card because it's the most powerful. Yeah. Um, but I've got fond memories of bench boost. Uh, when I temporarily hit rank one, I used the bench boost um, and it went really well in a single game week, which I've never done before, never done since. Oh. So I always have fond memories of the uh, of the bench boost. A lot of people saying wild card. Uh, top says bench boost. Razan likes the free hit. I think yeah. In terms of okay, follow up question for chat. Rate the chips in order from most powerful to least powerful. So I guess I would go wild card, free hit. And then I'm not sure what I'd put last. Maybe bench boost and triple captain. Yeah, I think I think ben, uh, when you bench boost, you've still got your captain anyway. So it's literally just if you captain the same person, the triple captain, it's just that one third points you have to yeah. make up with the bench boost. And I think there's a lot, there's a big chance of doing that if you got, especially if you bench boost in a week where like you hold fifteen doubles. Yeah. It's quite kind how the fixtures are falling this season in 37 because it's quite easy to have a full 15 that double but what I think what's going to be difficult and I don't know if you've thought about this yet is if you wildcard in 35 do you really sell all your Liverpool and all your Arsenal players because they don't double in 37 or do you know do you keep someone like Saka or Salah around despite one less game because one less game is not massive like they could outscore people with one less game, so I'm not looking forward it's to that United, headache. United away in the in the 37 for Arsenal. Yeah, it's not it's not, not a great. difficult game. Yeah, could be worse, could be better. It's, it's one of them where oh, it depends how risky you want to play it. Um, it's I think a lot of people will choose the same strategy, and I think a lot of people will lose quite a lot of the Liverpool and Arsenal assets. So I think it might be quite yeah. like third mentality. And I know some people are looking at bench boosting in 34 for that reason. Because if yeah. you get it out of the way there, like yeah. you can yeah. afford to keep yeah. your, your Sackers and Salas. Maybe a defender for mm. the running. Because you don't have to worry about your bench boost. It's one to think about. I've tried Because I've got the wild card to go. I've not thought anything beyond 34 yet. I think... Because... Um, that's like a clean slate, isn't it? So, dealing with these two weeks first and then game on. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of questions about uh, Bowen in the chat. Uh, this is what Moyes said for those asking. Uh, Moyes said he's not expecting Bowen to be fit this weekend. So, if I had Bowen, I'd be looking to replace him. So, I'd sell him for someone like Luis Diaz um, or an Arsenal mid like Erdegaard, um, something like that. Or, you know, even someone like Sarabia that's got a double in 34. Um, if you are free hitting in 34, then I'd be using, I'd spend the transfer on someone that doubles in 37, you know, like Garnacho or, or someone like that with a later double. So, uh, yeah, that's what I would do uh, if I had Bowen. All right, let's keep the messages. Keep the messages coming. Will Bradley play? Yeah, I think Bradley will play. He was benched in the Champions League. Um, John says, Tom, do you play FPL Challenge? Not really, no. I, I, I uh, obviously try and keep my dosage of SPL just on the game at the minute. <laughs> yeah. But I tried it. I tried it one week, the week where the forwards got double. I mean, it was okay. I just, I, I just feel like um, you're going to run out of ideas pretty fast at this rate. And uh, I think it'd have been cool that the week where you know they get points for or min minus points for bookings. If it was Positive points, I think that would have been cooler. Yeah, yeah, that would have been I good, those. actually. I don't like this week's one. I haven't actually made a team for this week for the first time. Uh, I'm really behind on Super Chats uh, and chat in general, so let's uh, catch up. So, FPL Mackham says, Harlan to Cunha, or if not, start, and Gordon to Havertz minus four. Harlan to Cunha if he doesn't start? I think that's okay, to be honest. I think Cunha starts this week. He's had two benchings. Um, so yeah, that's what I would do. Uh, if not, if he doesn't start Gordon to Havertz minus four, I don't think you need to take a minus four for Havertz this week. Like his minutes could be managed because of the Champions League. Um, Hello, friend says, do I start Flecken or Neto? I'd start Flecken home to Sheffield United, definitely. Sam Brooks says, is Diaz a good captain option? Uh, I've got him or Salah. Um, I 
I probably wouldn't have him in our top five even. I mean, these are the projected points for FPL review. It's, it's very close at the top, and it does depend on minutes. Salah's on eight points. Haaland's 7.6. <laughs> uh, and then Saka, Palmer, Tony. So, I mean, Diaz is, what, like eighth or ninth on this list? So, uh, I'd, ra I'd rather captain Salah since you've got him as well, Sam. Yeah. It needs to do more than one thing. Nev says, uh, cheers for your first class content, Oscar. Thanks very much for the super chat, Nev. Uh, thanks for the support. That was a great comment on yesterday's video, by the way. Uh, it said something like, uh, shout out to Focal for creating a non-toxic FPL community. So, yeah, thanks for the good comments recently. And lastly, Dave Jones says, who's the better pick this week, Gabriel or Bradley? What do you think, Tom? Gabriel or Bradley, if you had to start one? I'd start one. I'd, I'd start them both. <laughs> yeah, uh, ideally, yeah. I tend to go against that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go against Arsenal defence at the minute. Um, it's one of them where Liverpool have been leaky, haven't they? But Bradley is very attacking, and it's only about a matter of time until I just get like an assist or something. I'd look at the rest of your defence <laughs> personally and see if you can get them both in. My worry is if, if there's some truth though in like the Gabriel news. I feel like I would uh, roll the dice on Bradley, but. I get what you I get what you mean because Arsenal they're right up there in the clean sheet odds like forty seven percent chance. Uh, I saw something about in chat about Silverbug RL Gamer I work at Silverbug you're a legend. Shout out to RL Gamer. That's where I used to work before I went full time FPL. Uh, shout out to Silverbug. J twelve says Bradley or Rico Lewis. Um, on a one week punt Rico Lewis, but I wouldn't want to buy Rico Lewis longer term. Like if you still got your wild card Lewis. So, uh, yeah, that's what I would do. Jurgen Klopp in the chat says, best picks to replace Foden and Doughty for the next two weeks. Best replacements. I'd say Luis Diaz um, is, a, is an obvious one for me. He was benched in the Europa League. Uh, so I think he starts this one. He probably starts next week because they're 3-0 down on aggregate. Doughty replacements. Depends on Arsenal defenders if you've got any. Those are the obvious ones. Um, is there anyone else? Eight Nori. I think it's a good one. Is there any other good uh, Foden and Dart your replacements for the next two weeks that you can think of, Tom? Depends who you've got. I mean, you've got the triple Arsenal, or you like the Liverpool defender already. And, you know, there's just the single game weeks. Like I said, Sheffield United. You never know. You can, it's, it's, it's Sheffield United and Luton for Brentford. Sorry. Yeah. And um, it's not too bad. But then again, I, th I still think that's a dodgy fixture. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people have been talking about that game a lot. Some people are looking at Mbumo, which yeah, I think I is all right as a one-week punt. Um, but it does depend on 34, like how you're set up for it, because I'd be looking to add double gaming players as a priority if I didn't have 11 already. I don't mind, um, I don't mind the Everton and Palace double game week, but they've got awful fixtures the week before, defensively anyway. So it's one of them where maybe hold the, the transfer if you're... If you can, the only the other one, and then Doherty just for a week, and then one of them defenders in next week for the double. As H says, should I play Munez or Pedro Porro? I'd go Munez myself, yeah. and start the attacker, and it, they are away at Newcastle. And it's not like Spurs are keeping loads of clean sheets. What would you do, Tom? Munez or Pedro Porro? I'd play, I'd play Munez. Yeah, I think just that think. makes sense. I don't see them keeping a clean sheet away at Newcastle, and then it's attacking you, relying on. And it's not out of the question, but I just I don't mind Mooney's away at West Ham. Yeah, I agree with that. Orkel says Tony or Hoyland. Uh, yeah, it's a difficult one because Hoyland's got a Dublin thirty-seven. Tony's got the better immediate fixture. That's quite a hard one. What would you say, Tony or Hoyland? If you had to buy one now. Well, I, think, I think Tony will definitely play this time. Yeah. We went again. And uh, it's, it's a good couple of fixtures for him. Luton away is not bad. All the strikers seem to score against Luton as well, remember. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, you, uh, if you've not got a wild card, I'd be tempted by the Hoyland one. Just because just then you've got a nice double in 37. Question from for you, Tom, from John. He says, Tom, being number one, are you all consumed by FPL 24-7? <laughs> um, try not to be. It's uh, 
it's one of them where you've got to got to make sure you switch off during the week or else you'll drive yourself mad. Uh, yeah. When I, when I came first, I had a really short turnaround between the next week and that, the last the Thursday night when I did it. And uh, I just felt like it was just FPL constantly. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like when there's those midweek, nice week. when the game yeah. like ends in the middle of the week, and then like Thursday, I think it was, and then the next deadline was on Saturday. So you, you had like what a day and a half to like soak in being number one. But yeah, luckily you held on to it. So yeah, you're still number one. I think you're uh, you're about two hundred points ahead of me at this point. This is the uh, the overall leaderboard. Uh, there's oh, let me zoom out. That's oh, not going to fit. There he is, Tom Hadley. 2,172 points he's on. How many points are you on in chat? Let us know. How many points is everyone on? I'm on... I haven't even broke 2,000 yet, and you're on 2,172. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> absolutely smashing it. 11-point gap seems very small to me right now. <laughs> yeah, I suppose yeah, a gap can change fast. Peter's on 2,173. Uh, I don't believe that. I, I didn't see you on the leaderboard there, Peter. 2014, 2200, 1995. Yeah, a lot of people yet to break 2000, myself included, but you must have done that weeks ago. Or a couple of game weeks ago. I don't, even think, I don't even think about it, actually, yeah. By the way, Tom, I have to ask, have you taken a screenshot of yourself in number one at the moment? To the frame it or something like that? Definitely. I can't, yeah. I can't not do it. I've got to... Um, <laughs> Make sure I've got that picture forever. Yeah. Wait, I did the same when I was number one. I took a, a screenshot of it and then, and then framed it. So I've got it on the living room shelf. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll have to do that as well. Nicer, yeah. obviously, to have it at the end. Well. <laughs> Send your lump says, morning to you, Oscar, and to you, Tom. Wishing you both a good game week. Love you, he says. Thanks for that, senor. Yeah, hopefully Tom can have another good game week. Big decisions this week. He's got Foden. A lot of people are still asking about Foden. Basically on Foden, me and Tom basically feel like he probably doesn't start. Um, so I think there's an opportunity to sell him. But we'll keep an eye out because we might get some team news and leaks during the stream. So anything we get, I'll let you know straight away. Um, if we do get it, probably come a bit nearer the deadline. So not just yet. But my gut feeling is he doesn't play. Like He went off injured in the Champions League. They're tied free on aggregate, so why risk him in a game like Luton at home when you could quite easily play Nunez, Doku, Alvarez? You know, there's loads of uh, peripheral players that you could easily start there, so I don't think he plays. Mars says, Do you think Cunha starts? I think Cunha will start, yeah. He's been off the bench twice. I think he's a solid buy this week ahead of the double. So uh, I like the Cunha pick, yeah. Chips, the chip poll then. This is interesting. So 9% have used all their chips. 31% have got one chip left. 54 have got two. And 7% have still got three chips remaining. Interesting. J. Mai says, who's Tom's captain? He said it's between Salah and Haaland. Obviously, he's not going to tell us. Like, And I don't blame him. Because what if FPL number two is watching this stream? Uh, I'll pull up Tom's team again. This is how he's lined up this week. He's not made a transfer yet, so he does have Foden, so he's got that to keep in mind. Um, Tom's going to stick around for like another 20 minutes, uh, and then he's going to shoot off to sort his team out. So, yeah, it's good of him to uh, swing by on the stream. So, yeah, thanks for um, joining us, Tom. It's good to have you on the stream. It's good to have a guest on the stream, like someone to talk to as well for the first time ever, because it's quite hard, by the way. You can probably imagine, normally I sit here and talk for two hours, and you don't have anyone to bounce off, so it's just the chat. So, uh, yeah, it's good to have you here, Tom. Imagine. Avi Noba says Nori to Rico Lewis and Son to Mbumo. What do you think? Nori to Rico Lewis. Take um, Nori out. Yeah, it depends if you're on three like hit 34 this. and wild yeah. card in 35. That's the only scenario where I'd do that because you don't want to keep Lewis and Mbumo long term. So I'd only take a punt like that if I was on three hit 34 and wild card 35. Otherwise, I wouldn't do that. I'd, I'd keep both otherwise. Uh, let me catch up on chat. Where do we get to? So Mark says, given the uncertainty around Foden starting, um, that's his only City asset, is Semenyo and Son to Haaland and Huang for a minus four hit worth it. Um, he's on a game week 35 wildcard, 37 bench boost. 
Mm. If Foden doesn't start and Haaland does, I think that's worth it, but I think I'd rather get Sarabia. What do you, you reckon, If you Tom? don't have Haaland, then you can get Haaland for Luton, and you know he's going to start at home to Luton, then yeah. it's worth the risk. Yeah, I agree with that, even for a minus four. I'd ra I think I'd rather get Sarabia, just because Huang's not actually played yet since he came back from injury. His flag's finally gone, but he's not played since Gemic 26, so I think he gets a cameo this week, whereas Sarabia surely starts. Uh, yeah, in terms of Semenyo, um, let me just pull this up in case anyone missed it. An update from Ariola. he said, The Bournemouth squad's still not over the illness that affected availability in minutes in Gemic 31 and 32. Uh, Meffin missed out. He says, Ariola's got five other, five other players' sidelines, Tavernier and Semenyo added to the injury list. So if anyone's got Semenyo, something to keep in mind. He said Semenyo's problem's not described as big. So that's another reason why I like that move, because Semenyo's not going to be involved this week. William says he's got. He, William says, "Hi, Oscar. I've got free hit 34, bench boost 37. Uh, what's your take on this? Bringing in Fernandez rather than Foden because uh, he's fearing the Pep Roulette. I mean, Foden. I don't think starts this week, so I think Bruno is a good option. Yeah, I like the Bruno transfer. He's probably someone I'm going to have on the uh, 35 wild cards. Yeah, I think that makes sense." I think I'd uh, rather Bruno than Foden because I don't think Foden plays this week. And I guess you have the option that like, if Foden is smashing it from next week, like if he hauls against Brighton, they still got Forest, then Wolves, and then double gimmick 37. So, yeah, I think it makes sense to buy Bruno. I would do the same. Are you looking at Bruno for your wild card, or are you just going to get like Garnacho, or are you not sure yet, Tom? Uh, not sure. It depends how. Um... The, the build of all the prices work because obviously Garnacho is one of them where really affordable. I prefer Bruno as an asset because he's got penalties. I always like the penalties. Um, I know it's he's another one that creates a lot of chances too, isn't he? I think yeah. he's starting to find a bit of form as well. Um, yeah. He's looked better recently and he's always got a penalty too. factor. Yeah. But I might have Balancing. both, to be fair. I might have Garnacho and Bruno mm -hmm. on my wild card. Undecided. It feels a bit wrong to go about Saka and Salah, as I was saying earlier, on the wild card. But yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. Maybe not even Fo and Foden either. But yeah, I'll decide on that. Gordon or Mateta? I'll definitely start Gordon. Yeah, Gordon's got the home fixture. He's blanked once all season. With me and Tom, we both got Gordon on the Game Week 7 wild card, didn't we? I mean, you might have had him before, but I remember you wild card at Game Week 7 and you had Gordon. I got him in there. Yeah, he's been immense this season. Uh, I think he'll make yes. his way into my wild card in 35, given they double in 37. So yeah, I'd start with Gordon over Mateta. Hey, Levi, how are we doing? Johnny says, let's go focal stream. Uh, Alex says, start Sarabia or Solanke. I'd start Solanke. Newcastle. Um, Newcastle. Man United's defence has been really poor recently. Um, the worst for expected goals conceded over the last six, so... Yeah, I'd rather the striker. Do you agree with that? Would you rather start Solanke over yeah, Sarabia? Seeding shots left, right and centre, aren't they? The last few weeks, it's like 20 odd a game. Okay. It's one of them. Solanke's had a couple of bad weeks, but I imagine it's not going to last. Yeah, I agree with that. Just checking in the background if there's been any leaks yet or any team news. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we'll probably get something closer to a deadline, so I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, um, last minute, don't we? I know a lot of people want to know about Foden and Haaland, so those are the main two. But I want to know. If, I want to know if Rico Lewis starts. Like I'm going to buy Rico Lewis if he starts this week as a one-week punt. Uh, as says, start Sarabia or Munez. He's got Haaland and Tony. What do you think, Tom? Sarabia or Munez? If you had to start one. Uh, I think I'd go with Munez. I think. Um, see that as a tricky game for Wolves away at Forest, but it's kind of a toss up in that they're both similar sort of assets. Mooney's tends to get his points at home, but um, I think I'd, I think he edges it for me. Sarabi is one of them for me. I'd, I wouldn't consider him playing this week for me, but unless it was a auto sub. Yeah, I agree with that. I'd start Mooney's. I'm just sticking a poll up on Haaland and his minutes, so. 
How many minutes will Haaland play? None, bench cameo, early sub or full 90? The poll is up, get your votes in on that. What do you reckon, uh, Tom? How many minutes will Haaland play if you had to predict it right now without leaks? None or off the bench or starts but early sub or plays the entire game? I think I'd like, I'd like to think it'll be a start early, so that'd be my yeah. prediction. Yeah, me too. Maybe not that early, maybe you know, 70, something like that. Depends, yeah. depends how the game's going. Terz says, start Eze or Munez. I, again, I think I'd favour Munez there. I'm expecting a response from Liverpool. And Klopp said the same in his press conference. Press conference. He said, you can fully expect a, a full response after what happened uh, on Thursday night. 3 not lost to Atalanta. The home to Palace. So, um, yeah, I, I don't see Palace getting much here. Eze or Sarabia? I'd play Sarabia. A lot of people asking Eze or Sarabia. In terms of, oh, that's difficult. Which one would you buy this week? Eze or Sarabia? I mean, Sarabia's got the slightly better fixture, but Eze's better for 34. I think I'd rather Eze, you know. What, what do you reckon, oh, Tom? It's not, it's not unfeasible that they'll get something Palace away at Liverpool. And he's usually involved, isn't he? Yeah. He's a great player to have for the double, Eze. If it was between the two, mm. have to buy, I'd obviously buy Eze because of the double yeah. for them. Yeah, I agree with that. Like He's the talisman, he's on pens. Sarabia did take one last match, but Cunha wasn't on the pitch, so... Uh, it's fine, I think, well. It's a penalty taker. Yeah. Wolves will be back soon. John says, Oscar or Tom, how many penalty takers is a good balance in a team of, of 11? Is that something you think about, like how many penalty takers you got, or is it just kind of as many as possible without... I definitely uh, think about it. I mean... See, they, they have to be good assets without the penalties as well. Uh, I think it's always a nice little bonus, isn't it? Because especially if it's a midfielder, they get a penalty goal. And it, they could be on double figures just from that one goal. Yeah. I mean, in my I team... Bonus. Just working out how many I've actually got. So, Solanke, Haaland. Uh, in fact, my, my entire front six are on penalties. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realise. I've got six. How many penalty takers do you have in chat? Let us know. Yeah, I've got six. I mean, if we're counting Sun, uh, I guess Saka counts. Like he's taken quite a few recently, even though early God has before. Yeah, I've got six penalty takers. Anyone got more than six? Gekmi's got seven. I've um, got a question here from Samuel. He says, hey, dude, start Solanke or Watkins? Or if both, bench one of Sun, Erdegaard, Ganacho, or Palmer. I would bench Wat Watkins away at Arsenal. I think that makes the most sense against the best defence in the league. I know Watkins has got the most points, but yeah, I think you play the fixture. What would you do there? Would you start Solanke or Watkins, Tom? I'd play Solanke. I think it, as much as um, Watkins could score in any game, I think you've got to be fancy in the best defence in the league to probably keep him out. Might not, but on paper, yeah, you've got to go with the fixture. Yeah. Timothy says Ake to Bradley or Kilman. I think we were talking about Bradley earlier. I think you get one more game out of him. Maybe he starts one in the double, but Trent is back, so I wouldn't be surprised if Trent starts one. You know, or even Gomez is an option. So I'd say Kilman. What about you, Tom? Ake to Bradley or Kilman? I don't think I get Kilman either. To be honest, I think Wolves. I don't see many clean sheets for them in the. I see it, nor is the one that you get for attacking potential. I think it should be all right for the double. Yeah. Um, Bradley's one of them. I think he'll he'll play against Palace and one of the games in the double. So it depends if you want to how much you want to weigh that up. Yeah. Or maybe just save your transfer and see what the situation is looking like next week with Everton and Palace in the question. Obviously, if you're on free hit 34, then Bradley all day. But I prefer oh, Gilman yeah. if I had to pick one between the two. Uh, Tim. We call Lewis. Yeah, thanks for that. Mo says he's got Haaland, Solanke, Isaac, Saka, Salah, Son, Palmer and Gordon. Who to bench? Well, that's a difficult oh. one. Haaland, Solanke, Isaac. Oh, that's horrendous, that one. Maybe Isaac? But I wouldn't feel comfortable benching Isaac. Even Solanke and then what? I think it's between Solanke and Isaac. What do you think, Tom? Solanke or Isaac, if you had to bench one? Both Gordon and Isaac are so good at together, you know, work at home. And I think 
depends how much you want to put in the Newcastle section if you want to have both Newcastles playing. Um, good fixture for Slanky as well with United being so offensively poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> toss a coin on it, I reckon. Yeah, it's a coin Slanky. toss. You reckon Solanke? I'd go Isaac, but it's close. Just so you don't have double Newcastle. I think Spurs will give them a good game. Like Gordon's blank once home all season, so I'd definitely start him. But yeah, it's close. Newcastle. I mean, Man United have got so many defenders out that I, I think Solanke could get something here. Uh, Razan says start two out of Stupinian, eight Nori, Bradley, and Munez. I wouldn't start stooping, Jan, so it's eight Nori, Bradley and Munoz. I'd start Bradley and Munoz. Uh, I'm just trying to rattle through these. Mohamed says, is bringing Haaland in this week essential? Um, if there's news that he starts, then I think it's an extremely good move because he might even be the most captain player. Like, he was top of the captain poll earlier. So, yeah, if there's news that he starts, then not essential. Like, it depends on the rest of your team. No one's essential, but it's a pretty, like... I water and fix your home to Luton. King of the Z says, Son to Diaz this week or burn the transfer and do it next week? Good question. Would you burn a transfer or just get ahead of the curve with Diaz? In that scenario... Yeah, depends on the rest of your team for the double. Like, if you are already on course to have a full 11 at double, I'd actually burn the transfer. Whereas if you've only got, you know, seven or eight and you need those transfers, then I would do Son to Diaz. Uh, that's what I would do, yeah. Tuna says, start Sarabia or Solanke. I'd say Solanke. What about you, Tom? Solanke for me. Mohit says, he's got two free transfers. He's thinking about Sun to Salah and Foden to Garnacho. Or Foden to De Bruyne and Sun to Diaz. He's got Gabriel, Saliba, Poro back three. Solanke, Nunez, Haaland front three. Palmer, Saka, Gordon. Bench Garnacho or Gordon. I'd bench Garnacho. Sun to Salah I like. And then fold into Garnacho, yeah, to build towards 37. Oh. Would you do the same, uh, Tom? Because obviously got the double next week as well. Uh, I quite like that because um, you're gonna want salary, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, like I know I said no one's essential, but I think going into 34 without Salah is just yeah reckless. Like you're asking for trouble there. Uh, Beanbag says Isaac and Dubravka to Haaland and Kelleher with two free transfers. He's on free hit 34, wildcard 35, bench boost 37. Yeah, I like that actually. I think that makes that sense cool. if you're free hitting. Yeah, because Keller is like a one week option at best. Like Allison could start in the doubles, but it doesn't matter if you're on free hit 34 and wildcard and straight after. So, um, yeah, I'd say do that. I'm envious of those people that are on free hit 34, bench boost 35. Because they can, I'm um, sorry, wildcard 35. Because they, they can do whatever they want this week. Like, they got the flexibility to take some one-week punts this week before the chips get activated. I'd even be fun with it. I'd even maybe make an extra punt whilst you can. Yeah, exactly. Can, yeah. Even for minus, like it's it's worth the risk because you, you can literally just put it on anyone this week. I try to do that myself. Like if I'm about to wildcard, I'll often you look to make a one-week punt because why not? You're about to wildcard them straight back out. Um, so, yeah, I'd be thinking along the same boat. I mean, I'm kind of similar this week. If Haaland doesn't start, I'm looking to buy Tony. Because uh, I can... I mean, I'll probably start him in 34, but I'm going to wildcard in 35. So it'd be only for one or two weeks. Um, for people that wanted to see Tom's team again, this is how he's lined up for Game 33 as it stands. Uh, obviously, he's not captain in Leno. Uh, he's got sort out his captain still. Um, he's going to hop off in five minutes, by the way. So if anyone's got any last-minute questions for Tom, get them in the chat. And then um, Tom's going to hop off to sort out his team for the deadline. Foden to Jota. Would you buy Jota this early, Tom? Or would you rather someone else like Diaz? I think he'll start this weekend. I think he'll, he'll, I think he'll definitely have minutes in the double, though. It's just... Um, I think maybe Diaz is a better option. A lot more safe minutes yeah. if you haven't got him. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I'd rather Diaz, but Diaz was benched in Europa League. Came on at half time. Um, I imagine he starts this one and he starts uh, in the second leg as well. Someone asked if you used FPO review. Do you use FPO review, Tom, for oh. transfer guidance? No. Do you do you actually consume any FPO content, or like what's your process every week? I always uh, look through the timeline and you know see what all the 
words or other about stuff, but I don't I try and take it with a pinch of salt. I try and, in terms of people's teams, I try and make my own decisions, but yeah. there's a lot of good information on Twitter. And, or, you know, there's a lot of, of really useful information regarding players and missing out and stuff. So I, that's my main use of it. I like to be make sure I'm up to date with information. I know you said you you pay a lot of attention to stats and you look at expected data and that sort of thing. So I suppose you're kind of a, a bit of an analytical manner as well. As, as well, Flame says, who's your favourite person to own this season, Tom? That's a tricky one, isn't it? Uh, I, I mean, there's something about a defender that plays an attack. I think when Eight Nori was put in left wing against Burnley, yeah, and he played again, it was just like. It was an absolute dream for me because no one really had him at the top. And I think, I mean, there's been players that have done better for me, but I, just, I, just, I can't get over those few weeks when he was playing in strike. Could have been so much better. I know, I the, I know another one you mentioned when we did a video together was Foden because you have, you've had him for yes. both his hat tricks. And yeah. one of those hat tricks was what put you to rank one, right? What rank one, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, he's been one of my most fruitful players to have like, in terms of points. Like, and Son have been two of the ones that always been there when I needed them to and not necessarily fully owned by everyone. But yeah, Foden and Son. Sure. There's a message here saying, good luck, Tom. I hope you win the World League. A uh, couple more minutes. Get your questions in if you've got any more for Tom and then he's going to hop off and then you guys are stuck with me for the last hour. Would you rather play Munez or Gabriel this week? I think I'd go Munez. Uh, Jan says, Tom, do you feel the pressure? Oh, yeah. I mean, I try not I try not to think about it. I try and um, just take it as if I was winning my mini league, you know. Um, pressure's only really hits when you get a bad decision wrong and you start worrying about it. I think I try not to worry about it as much as I can. I try and just think that there's still all these weeks to play for and Keep my head cool and see if I'm still there at the end. Mr. Health says, Tom, who does the best pies in Wigan? <laughs> <laughs> Are you from Wigan, right? I know you're a Wigan fan. Are you from yeah, Wigan? I am, yeah. <laughs> the Galloways. There you go. I didn't, I didn't expect you to have an answer for that one. There you go. What are they called? Delaways. Delaways. It's, it's, it's a kind of a Wigan Northern thing. Okay. <laughs> P. Macca says, go and win it, Tom, lad. Uh... Right, I think uh, I think we're all caught up on chat now. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for joining the stream, Tom. I hope you've enjoyed it, mate. Uh, Honour to have you on as the first ever guest on a deadline stream as well. Um, I know you said or we agreed you'd hop off about an hour in, so um, if you need to shoot to sort your team out, no problem at all. We're all wishing you the best of luck this week, mate. Thanks a lot. I, uh, hopefully you can keep it up. I mean, if I don't, then at least I've got that moment. Uh, yeah, cheers yeah. for having me on. You got the screenshot. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Tom. Good luck this week. No worries, my pleasure. Speak soon. Enjoy the rest. Of you. Cheers. See you later. Tom Hadley, ladies and gentlemen, what a legend! Such a nice, down-to-earth guy. Hopefully, he can go and win the whole thing. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed having a guest on the deadline stream as well. So, uh, yeah, good to have Tom with us. Hopefully you can hold on to that top spot as well. So you're stuck with me for the last hour. Uh, let's catch up on some of the usual that we normally do. Get your guesses in the chat. Who's going to be king of the game week? And then I'll catch up on super chats and so on. It was De Bruyne last week. Guesses in the chat. Who's going to be the top scorer of game week 32? So Mohit said, uh, think about then Sun to Salah. Oh, he did with that one. Beanbag says, I did that one as well. Maybe I'm caught up. ZT Esk says, uh, two free transfers, same midfield as me and Garnacho. Uh, the forward's the same, but he's got Munez. Depends on your chip strategy, uh, ZT. I'm looking to wild card 35, so like if Haaland's benched, I'm looking to go Haaland to Tony, and then I'll probably go Huang to... I don't know if, I don't know if you've got Nacho instead of Huang, but I'm looking to go Huang to... Diaz as my other transfer. Uh, if you've still got your wild card, there's lots of ways you can go just with a one week punt or two week punt. Like I'm looking at doing Zabani to Regulon. I'm looking to buy Lewis if there's news he starts. KDB again. Jeffrey says Haaland. 
Yeah, Michael asking about Regulon. I think uh, Regulon's a great shout this week. Got two assists last week. Two assists last week. Home to Sheffield United. I think he's uh, a very good option. Ambrose has gone for a punt on Bruno and Hoyland. Austin reckons it'll be Foden. Mate, imagine if Foden starts after all that and he's the top scorer. Scenes if that happens. Garnacho King. Injury news. So yeah, let's do uh, the news roundup uh, and run through everything from the press conferences. So pay attention, we're going through all the news from uh, yesterday's presses. Irrela said uh, the squad's still not over the illness. He said that Tavernier and Semenyo added to the injury list. Tavernier's is more serious. Semenyo's is not a big issue. Uh, Arsenal news. Arteta's hopeful that everyone's going to be okay for 33, but did hint at some issues. Saka was seen in training. Gabriel was not seen in training. Ivan Tony is fine to play against Sheffield United after precautionary benching in game week 32. Uh, Pinnock is returning to the squad as well. Luton news. Edwards not expecting any of their 10 injured players to return. And concerningly, Mengi and Burke are fresh concerns for Gemic 33. And Kabore can't play against his parent club. So, uh, yeah, this one could be an absolute goal fest for C, even if they rotate heavily. Richarlison's going to miss out once again for Ange Postacogli's side. Uh, he is close to a return. Everyone else came through fine last game week. Some Wolves news. On 8 Nori. O'Neill said, Ryan will travel with a group. He's had a minor issue, but I envisage him being part of the match day squad. So it's a promising update. Hard to predict if he starts, but it, I listened to his actual press conference and the way he said it sounded like he was pretty confident um, that he's fine. Juan Cunha and Dawson are going to be in this squad as well. Good news if you've got Arsenal defence. Douglas Ruiz is, starting to, is serving his two-match suspension. Um, so he won't be back till game week 35. West Ham news. Moyes isn't expected, expecting Bar B Barham, Bowen to be fit this weekend. Um, no other relevant news there. Ariola will be available after his groin issue. And then lastly on Man City. As usual, Pep didn't give much away. He said Foden's going to be assessed this afternoon to determine his availability for Luton. And he confirmed that Edison's still the first choice keeper and he's ready to start in Gameweek 33. So, yeah, it sounds like we'll see Edison start. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if Edison starts the second leg against Madrid as well. So that is the news roundup. Um, the poll was, how many minutes does Haaland play? 9% think none. 13% bench cameo. 47% early substitution, but he starts. 30% reckon the full 90. Jürgen says, can we have the clean sheet odd, odds, please? Clean sheet odds are there. Dave says Pep's press conference is just pointless. They really are. All he ever says is, I've not spoke to the medical team. Uh, we've got training this afternoon. Like, he never gives anything away. So yeah, City, 54.5% clean sheet probability. Then Arsenal, uh, Liverpool tied on 47. Uh, and then Brentford home to Sheffield United. So again, Regalon's a very nice one-week option. Or even two week, they've got Luton again week 34, but obviously that week's going to be all about the doubles if possible. Uh, you want the projected points? Projected points are as follows. It really depends on the minutes. So I, I estimated 75 for Haaland and I left it on the default for Salah 87, but that could be too high for Salah. It's quite hard to predict, isn't it? Like they've got the second leg of Europa League, so Salah could come off early. So it's actually very close. Like if I dropped Salah to 80, 80 minutes there, they'll be dead even on points pretty much. Salah 8.0, Haaland 7.6, Saka and Palmer 6.1, Tony, Son, Alvarez, Erdegaard, Diaz and Darwin. Salah is 90, you reckon? Pep hates FPL. I wouldn't be surprised. He probably does. I'm sure he hates the FPL leakers. Which we're all waiting for. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about Foden uh, and Haaland. And maybe some other players. Like I'm hoping for some Lewis news. So I'm going to keep an eye out. Um, yeah, If Haaland starts and Lewis starts, I'm going to go Zabane to Lewis. And just make one transfer and bench Gusto. Just in case Gabriel doesn't play, then I've got Gusto on the bench. 
if Haaland doesn't start, I'm looking to actually go Haaland to Tony and then Huang to Luis Diaz. And then I'd play a 3-5-2 and bench Gusto. <laughs> Do you think Diaz is a rotation risk? Question from Thomas. Yeah, not guaranteed to start. Not guaranteed to start because Jot is coming back from injury. And Klopp's lined up as Jota, Darwin and Salah as much as Diaz, Jota and Salah. So, yeah, neither Darwin or Diaz are completely safe. But Diaz has been excellent recently. So I still think he's a very good option given they've got Palace home where he, he definitely starts in my opinion. A leak on Gabriel as well. Yeah, that would be useful. Yeah, yeah I'm hoping for some Gabriel news. Nick says, bench one out of Solanke, Darwin and Havertz. Solanke, oh, that's a tough one. I just wonder, will Havertz start? Or does he rotate a little bit? Maybe Jays is up top, Martinelli or Trossard left wing. Because on paper, that team should still beat Villa at home. So I would start Solanke and Darwin. I mean, Darwin's not guaranteed either, but I think it's too soon for Jota to start straight away. He's just come back from a long-term injury and he played like 15 or so minutes off the bench. Alex says, because I planned to free hit in 34, I had to use my two free transfers, Van Heck and Cambuala, for Bradley and Taylor because of the upcoming game, Thoughts. Depends if you're wildcarding in 35, Alex. Um, because Quambala, I think, is not a good long-term option at all. I mean, isn't Lindelof close to return? It could be Maguire and Lindelof centre-back and Quambala on the bench. But yeah, you haven't got much money if you're selling Bradley and Taylor. That's the thing. Van Heck's great. I don't think I'd buy Kambuala though. Yeah, it's a difficult one because you have to spend both. I just wouldn't feel that comfortable about selling Bradley when I think he starts home to Palace as well. But I'm trying to think if there's any other cheap defenders. How much is Dan Burn? Like, he's an option. If you're free, if you're going to walk on 35 and there's a leak that Rico Lewis starts, he's 4.2 mil. I think he's the best option for the cheap defenders. But yeah, I wouldn't buy Kambuala. Gusto or Van Dyke to start? I'd start Van Dyke, Alex. Henderson to Ariola. I'll do it the other way around. Ariola to Henderson if you need a keeper for 34. Uh, John says play Petrovic or Kelleher. I'd start Kelleher. Let me check what the clean sheet odds are saying. Yeah, Liverpool 47% chance. Chelsea 31 and a half. I'd start Kelleher. Maguire's 4.2. Yeah, that's a shout. I'd, I'd rather get Maguire, but I don't know if you've got the money for that. But yeah, Maguire's a shout for de definitely. I think he'll be pretty much nailed. Like, he's definitely first choice. So I'd say Maguire and Van Heck, if you can afford that. I think you can. Which City defender's not Lewis? I'd say Vardio, Andrew. Not guaranteed to start this week, but I think he's got a good chance of starting. So I'd say Vardio. I think he's 4.8 mil. Will Bowen play? It sounds like he won't. Uh, this is what Moyes said. Uh, Moyes isn't expecting Bowen to be fit this weekend. Obviously, you never know of Moyes. Like, I remember Bowen got that injury before and he was like supposed to be out and then he played anyway. Right, we've got 45 minutes uh, or 50 minutes till the deadline. I've not even asked yet, but if you guys have enjoyed the stream so far, uh, and obviously we had our first guest on the stream today. Make sure you like the stream and subscribe if you're enjoying the stream. Any City leaks, uh, I'm going to keep an eye out. If we get any, it'll be closer to the deadline. But I will certainly keep an eye out. Just, just checking now. Nothing at the moment. Yeah, I'll keep checking. Uh, FPL Mikel, thanks for the 25 months. He says, 25 months, Diaz for Foden, I've got Salah and Darwin. Yeah, I mean, unless there's a leak that Foden starts, which I, I do not expect. I, I'm, personally, I think Foden doesn't start. Might not even be in the squad. That's my gut feeling. So, yeah, I think Foden to Diaz makes perfect sense this week. Definitely, Mikel, go for it. 
Diaz or Eze for Son? I'd rather Diaz. Quite a few questions about Diaz or Eze. I prefer Diaz. I mean, better fixture this week. A slightly better double in 34 as well. I would say. Who's behind you? No one's behind me, I think. Oh, Teddy's on the floor behind me. Teddy, you want to come up? He's not interested. Uh, Shuebe says, Munoz or Luis Diaz? I'd go Luis Diaz. Uh, Andrew, thanks for becoming a member. Thanks very much, Andrew. Shout out to all the members, by the way. Appreciate your support to allow me to uh, continue to do this full time every week and make these videos and streams. Uh, so thank you all, all the members. If you want to become a member, it's the join button below the stream. Uh, it's only a couple of quid and you get a badge by your name in the stream and comments. You get early access to videos, members channel on Discord, members league, all sorts of goodies. Thanks for that, Andrew. Where's Boxer Meet Canvas? It was on earlier, I think, uh, while me and Tom were busy chatting away. By the way, I forgot to even mention, I've added a, a widget. Can you see it on the left-hand side? I've Two widgets, starts and benched. I thought that'd be quite a good way to just make it clear what we've heard so far in terms of leaks. So that's a new addition from today's stream. So yeah, if we get anything, that's going to be the permanent home for uh, any team news. I think that's quite a good addition because otherwise people, you know, it's oh, it's often last minute panic. People are like, does this player start? And I might have just like pulled up a tweet that says they do. Uh, Leighton says, have you done your predictions? Uh, I've not. Let's do those. Thanks for the nudge. Newcastle versus Tottenham. Scoreline predictions. Good feedback on the widgets. Thanks for that, guys. Yeah, I think that's a nice addition to the stream. Newcastle v Tottenham. Scoreline predictions. What do we say? 2-1. Start Neto or Ariola and captain Salah or Haaland. Haaland, if he starts, um, who have West Ham got? West Ham play home to Fulham. I'd rather start Ariola, and if he doesn't play, then you get Neto. 2-1, two, 2-0. Two, two yeah, I think both. I think there should be lots of goals in that one. Brentford v Sheffield United. Um, make sure you put the fixture next to the scoreline so we know which one we're talking about now. Uh, Inch says 2,765 watching, just 309 likes. Shape up. Yeah, exactly. If you guys uh, have enjoyed this stream, drop it a like. I'll come back to the Super Chats uh, once we get to the end of the predictions. 3-1. You reckon you know, Sheffield United score? 3-0. 3-1. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Burnley v Brighton. What are we saying? Burnley v Brighton. I'll come straight back to um, Super Chats at the end. Burnley v Brighton. Did we get Green Arrow last week? We did. That's crazy. Since I've started doing these on the stream, we've got a Green Arrow every week. We're up to 31st. 1-0, 2-1. You reckon Burnley score? 2-1 two, two, Brighton. I think that's about right. Man City versus Luton. It lets you go up to 12-0 or 12 goals. Do you think Luton score? Score on our predictions on City versus Luton. 4-0. 7-0. 5-0. Quite a few are saying 5-0. We're going 5-0. It's not going to be 10-0, surely. If it's 10-0, I'm going to clip this and I'll post it on Twitter. 5-0. I actually think 5-0 is about right. Because like City need the goal difference as well. So, yeah. I think there'll be lots of goals in that. Forest v Wolves. What are we saying for that one? Bit of a garden centre match, that one. What's the app? This is uh, Super Brew. From next season, I will uh, promote it properly uh, on stream so that everyone can get involved. Uh, there's like a few hundred that are playing in the mini league, but I only promote it on Discord. But I think it's quite a good idea because we can kind of get a feel from each other what's going to happen in games. 
one all. Yeah, I think that's about right. Bournemouth against Man United. What are we saying? Bournemouth v United. I mean, Bournemouth surely score here. United's underlying numbers are shocking recently. The worst for expected goals conceded over the last six. Hafe reckons McTominay gets a brace. 2 all. 2-1 to Bournemouth. That would be an upset. You reckon, you reckon Bournemouth win? 2-1. 2-1 to Bournemouth. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it. Liverpool against Palace. What are we saying for this one? Surely we get a response from Liverpool after the loss to Atalanta. 3 0 at Anfield, that was. Klopp's promised a response in this game. So, what's the score going to be? I mean, we're going to go Liverpool win, but what's the score going to be? 3 1? 3 2? Not 31. 3 1? 3 0? 2 0? A lot of people are back in Palace to score one, so we'll go 3-1. West Ham against Fulham. Get your guesses in. West Ham v Fulham. Munoz back on the score sheet. No Bowen. Will West Ham struggle without Bowen? Uh, Discord's in the description, Joshua, if you want to join it. There's a channel called Prediction League in there. 2-1 to West Ham. Fulham are such an unpredictable side, aren't they? Like, they completely dominated Spurs 3-0 a few weeks ago, and then they've had some bad results since against easier opponents. 2 all. Okay. Uh, we've got two more to do. Arsenal against Villa. Arsenal v Villa. Scoreline predictions for that one. 2 Two all. No, that's got to be the game before. You reckon Villa score two? I mean, it could all be dependent on Gabriel. If he doesn't play, then yeah, Villa have a chance of scoring. 3-0. 2-0. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a massive scoring game. They're going to have one eye on the second leg against Bayern, aren't they? Yeah, okay. I mean, 2 or 3-0 the most popular answers. We'll go 2. And lastly, Chelsea v Everton. Last one. What are we saying? Chelsea v Everton. Amir is praying for Arsenal's downfall as a City fan. 3 1 2 all. 2 all, you reckon? 1 all? 2 all. A lot of people are saying 2 all. Some are saying 2 1 Chelsea. I mean, you'd think Chelsea win at home against Everton, but they've just drawn 2 all of Sheffield United. I think we'll go 2 1. There we go. Guesses are in. Thanks for that. Let's see how we get on, on next week. Thanks for the guesses. Right, let me catch up on the, the messages and questions from before. Uh, Alex says his team in response is he's got Raya White, Gusto, Van Heck. I mean, let me find what you said before. So you're going to free hit yeah, 34 to retransfer. So you've got Raya White, Gusto, Van Heck, Salah, Sun Palmer, Foden Havertz, Salah, Captain, Nunez, and your subs are Petrovic, Nunez, Camboala, and Maguire. So you've got Maguire already. And you've got two transfers, and you're free hitting in 34. Yeah, I see your predicament. Like, where do you actually spend the moves here? Did you say how much you got in the bank? No. Camboala to, to uh, Van Heck, I'd do. Did you just buy Maguire? Because you had Taylor, so you've bought Maguire now. Yeah, I'd get Van Heck. I'd get Van Heck. I can't see anything else that makes sense to do. Oh, you've got Foden. Sorry, I almost missed that. So, I would wait, Alex, for any team news. Uh, do you have triple Liverpool? So you got Oh, you got Van Heck there now. So, Cambuar on the bench. So, you've got Nunez Salah. You don't have Bradley. So, you just sold Bradley. Yeah, wait for Foden news. If Foden doesn't start, then I would sell him. Um... But you've got triple Arsenal, you've got double Liverpool, so I'd go foe into Diaz. I think I'm reading that right. You've got Nunez and Salah. So you've got double Liverpool, so 
I would go Foden to Diaz, uh, personally. I don't think Foden plays, so that's what I would do, Alex. Oh, you're free hitting 34, sorry. Uh, can you afford Fernandez? I'd probably go Fernandez or Garnacho. That's what I'd probably do. Because you've got double Man United, so yeah, that's what I would do. I'd look to buy Fernandez if it was me, if you can afford him, if not Garnacho. Yeah, that's what I would do, Alex. Uh, Oblivious says, thoughts on Son of Douglas Luiz to Havertz and Diaz this week. I'm setting up for double game week 34 with two Arsenal and Liverpool midfielders as a slightly better combined EO option and wildcard in 35. Mm, yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Like, Havertz is on fire. No one's got more points than Havertz since game week 25. So... Yeah, it's difficult to predict how Arteta's going to line up because they've got a massive game against Bayern next week. But it's a massive game this weekend. Like, Villa are no pushovers. There is a risk, obviously, selling Sun against such a bad Newcastle side. That's my worry. But... I just wonder if you're better off going Douglas Luiz to Sarabia. Rather than leave yourself without Sun, you know what I mean. I think that's I think that's what I would do, Oblivious. I don't think I'd want to sell Sun before Newcastle. Like Newcastle would just leak in every game right now, well, except last week when they kept a clean sheet. They got so many defenders out, so many flags. I just don't. I wouldn't feel comfortable selling Sun. I'd rather just do Douglas Luiz to Sarabia, or even Eze, rather than sell Sun now. That's what I'd rather do. But I think those moves are okay, but it's risky. Cristobal says, start three out of Tony Hoyland, Kudus and McAllister. I'd start Tony. I'd start Hoyland. And I'd start Kudus. And bench McAllister. Uh, Anchit says, is there any 8 Nori news? Double Arsenal risk with Villa. Uh, all we've had is this. O'Neill on 8 Nori said, Ryan will travel the group. He's had a minor issue. But I envisage him, envisage him being part of the match day squad. If I had to guess, I'd say probably starts, but it's yeah, it's quite close. Maybe like 60-40 on starting and not starting. But that's all we've had uh, in terms of eight nori. Uh, Erlen says eight nori and Foden unlikely. One France for best replacement. Uh, if you're not free hitting 34, Foden to Diaz makes the most sense to me this week. That's what I would do. Dan has got two free transfers. He's free hitting in 34, bench boost in 37. He's thinking Isaac over Tony to replace Watkins and save a free transfer later on. Yeah, I agree with that. I would do the same. Any ideas who to replace Lascelles with cheap for four and a half mil or less? I mean, you could just go straight to Dan Byrne. Van Heck's a good option. Um, for less than four and a half, yeah, there's not many players. The double in 37. Those two come to mind. Dan Byrne, because he can play centre-back or left-back. Van Heck's not a bad shout. I'd go for one of those two. Omar says, Bradley or Gabriel? Jackson or Sarabia to start? I'd start Bradley. He didn't start in Europa League, so I think he starts this one. Jackson or Sarabia? I'd back the striker. I'd start Jackson. Start Gusto or Bradley? I'd go Bradley. I'd imagine he starts this one, Bradley, because he was on the bench uh, on Thursday night. I'll keep checking in the background for any City team news and leaks. The second we get anything, you guys will know straight away. I mean, what players are you guys hoping for a leak about? Foden? Haaland? Will Darwin start? I reckon he starts and comes off early. KDB. Yeah, a lot of people want to know about KDB, right? And Haaland. Vardio. Yeah, Vardio is quite a popular pick right now. Grealish. I don't think Grealish starts, so there. I think he started the last three in a row. I think he'll start Doku, uh, probably Nunez, Alvarez. And then maybe De Bruyne behind Haaland. But yeah, Haaland's a bit of a question mark. 
So, yeah, nothing in terms of City leaks at the moment, but we've got half an hour till deadline. I'm sure we'll get something nearer the deadline. It tends to come in like the last five minutes. So we'll have to be on the ball and I'll keep refre refreshing. Ortega. I mean, to answer that one, Benjamin, Pep did come out and say this. He said, uh, Edison is still the first choice keeper and he's ready to start in 33. So I imagine Edison starts this one now. He's been on the bench the last two. They haven't kept clean sheets. I, I would say Edison starts. Um, yeah, he didn't say much from Foden, just that he's going to be assessed to determine his availability. Best Arsenal midfielder? I'd say Saka and then Odegaard or Havertz. Cunha or Sarabi, if only getting one. I think Cunha, you know. Like, he was in immense form before his injury. He's been off the bench twice, so I reckon that he uh I reckon he starts this one now. Nothing from FPL Tony. As far as I can see. Morning H Monkey, how we doing? Ismail says Sarabi or Munez, Van de Ven or Sabanye or Bramfway. So to answer the defender one, these are the clean sheet odds this week. Brighton 29%, Bournemouth, where are they? 19, Bramfway 14 and a half. So I'd start, uh, sorry, Van de Ven, not Van Heck, Van de Ven. Spurs 19%, there's not much in that. I think I'd go Van de Ven. Because they're missing the cells, they're missing Botman. Like he could get you something off a set piece. They're all centre backs, so there's nothing between them. Sarabia or Munez? I'd start Munez. I'd give Munez the start. My Wemo, thanks for the super chat. He's on um, free hit 34 and he's wild card in 35 with two free transfers. He's got Tony, so he's looking at Doughty to Regulon. Um, yeah, I like that. Morris to Pedro and bench Sarabia. Saka to De Bruyne. Poro to Regulon, or three. Poro Regulon plays to Barney and Sarabia, 6.3 mil, or four. Other one week punts. I really like Saka to De Bruyne, Mo, if there's a leak that De Bruyne starts. And I like Regulon. The other one you could look at, Mo, if there's a leak that Lewis starts, I think he's a good one to consider as well. <laughs> like, home to Luton. He's got an attack in return in him. I think he scored last match, didn't he? Not much between Lewis and Regulon. I'm actually looking at Lewis. If there's a leak that he starts, then I'll be buying him. Unless there's a leak, Haaland doesn't start as well. So it's all about leaks this week. It's a proper leak week. But yeah, I like option two the most. That's what I would do. Yeah, chase the upside. You've got De Bruyne home to Sheffield United. Regulon home to... Uh, sorry, De Bruyne home to Luton. Regulon home to Sheffield United. So I'll go for that. Super Coach Deji says, transfer out Huang or Foden to Sarabia. I prefer Foden, unless there's a last-minute leak that he starts. Annoyingly, it's a proper leak week, isn't it? Like, a lot of people are counting on leaks to dictate their moves. So, yeah, we'll have to see uh, what's said there. But I've, I think Foden out is what I'd rather do. Because I don't think he'll play this one. Like, he came off injured in the Champions League. I don't think it's a serious one, but why risk him home to Luton when you've got such world-class depth to get you over the line in that fixture like you just chuck in the likes of Nunez and Doku and those players should get you comfortably over the line still uh, any leaks no nothing at the moment it tends to come nearer the deadline so it could be in like 15 minutes it could be sooner there's predicted lineups from City Extra which have like Kovacic and Nunez in midfield uh, Rico Lewis potentially starting, but it's a predicted lineup. Their predicted 11 is Edison, Lewis, Akanji, Diaz, Vardy, Kovacic, De Bruyne, Nunez, Doku, Haaland, and Bob. But that's their prediction. Um, yeah, hopefully, we'll get something a bit firmer nearer the deadline. Good keeper to bring in that's not from Arsenal or Liverpool. Henderson's got a nice double in 34, but obviously you don't want to start him this week. Uh, Saar's got a better fixture this week, but 
a slightly worse double since one of the fixtures is Arsenal. Uh, Pickford's good as well. But yeah, they've got uh, Liverpool was one of their games in 34. And I think the other one's Forest at home. So yeah, those are three good ones. How about or Diaz? That's a close one. I think Diaz just edges it for me. So Barnier or Estupinian, who to start? I'd go Estupinian. I mean, he's not guaranteed to start, but I saw a predicted lineup that had him like 70% starting. So, and that was from a Brighton fan. So I, I, I tend to lean on what they predict. They know better than me. I'm keeping an eye out for any uh, last minute team news and leaks. We've still got like half an hour, just under. Uh, William, thanks for becoming an FPL Focal member. Thanks very much, William, for your support. Appreciate that. Welcome to all the new members on this stream. What's your FPL Challenge team? I've actually not made one this week. Um, we could do it after the deadline, but I've not actually made one. I'm not a big fan of this week's challenge. It's the first one I'm not a big fan of. I don't see why you just make yellows and reds cost you even more negative points. Why They should have made it yellows a plus five. Reds are plus eight. Because then like you could actually consider defensive mids and like some fun players like that. You could pick up Gordon, Jackson, who love a yellow. So, yeah, I think that would have made more sense. A bit more of a fun challenge. Benjamin says, best keeper for 5.1 mil on a one-week punt. Um, have you got, it depends if you've got triple Arsenal, Benjamin. Arsenal, I think, are second on the clean sheet odds. They're actually joint second with uh, Liverpool. So Raya, I think he's 5 mil. Kelleher is obviously way less, like 3.8. I'd go for one of them. Uh, or if you triple Liverpool as well as Arsenal, then Fleckham, 39.5% chance of a clean sheet. So this is the scout selection for game week 33. Let us know how many players you've got. They've gone for they've gone for Flecken and goal, actually. They've gone for Gabriel, Dunk and Gusto. They've got Salah captain, Luis Diaz, Havertz, Palmer, Haaland, Tony and Isaac. How many players have you guys got? Start Palmer or Diaz. I mean, you can't bench Palmer, can you? It's not great to bench Diaz either, but you can't bench Palmer. Asri's got six. Jan's got five. Evan's got five as well. Tal's got five. Chris has got four. FPL Journey to 10k. How we doing? He's got five. He's on Salah captain as well. Oh, yeah. We need to do a captain poll. Let's do a captain poll. So we got Salah, Haaland, Sun, and other. So if you vote other, let us know in chat who it is. So I've got uh, Gabriel. I, don't, I can't count, ta count Gusto because I don't know if I'm going to start him. Salah, Palmer, Haaland. Just four for me, but it does depend on my transfers. It could be five if I buy Tony, or six if I buy Diaz as well. So yeah, that's their pick this week. I like the Tony pick. I think he starts, and I think he's massively overlooked. Check FPL Tony. I don't think he's posted anything. Has he? Or is it just now? No, nothing. Nothing this morning. Uh, we shall keep checking, though, for any other team news, news and leaks. There's FPL Main Road as well. Or if I get DM'd anything, I'll just tell you straight away. Lewis is the one that I also am curious about. Because if Haaland starts and Lewis starts, I'm actually going to go Zabane to Lewis. And then I'll bench Gusto. That's what I'm looking at doing. And Shock says, love your cut, G. Bowen to Diaz or Huang? I would go Bowen to Diaz, definitely. Yeah, I think Diaz is a, a way better pick than uh, Bowen. That's what I would do. Pat says he's got 1.3 mil on the bank, two free transfers, and he's wildcard in 35. Neto, Zabane, Gabriel Lascelles, Nori, Richards, Regulon, Lewis. Regulon or Lewis for Richards. I could go Zabane for White, but two free transfers and no bench. Yeah, if there's... um. If there's a leak that Lewis starts, I actually think he's an awesome one-week punt. If there isn't, then Regulon. In terms of the other transfer, um, are you saying if you did that, you could still afford Zabane to White? Because, yeah, I like the White move. 
I mean, you could go Gabriel for Lascelles. Uh, sorry, Bradley for Lascelles. Because I think he gets one more start and then he might start one of the two in the double. So, yeah, you could go Bradley home to Palace for Lascelles as the other option. But, yeah, if there's a leak Lewis starts, go for it. If there's not, Regulon. I'm in the same boat there. Will Bradley start? I think he will, yeah. I mean, he didn't start in the in the Europa League. So I'd imagine he's back in the 11 for this game. Trent was on the bench, but he was an unused sub. And I think they're still going to be easing Trent in. So it'd be incredibly surprising if they just chucked Trent in the starting 11. So to, for me, that points towards a, a Bradley start. And then maybe Trent comes on at, you know, like 70 minutes. Lewis is Toffolo 2.0. He could well be. Hey, you know what, though? Toffolo outscored uh, Regulon by, like, four points, didn't he? So, Start eight Nori or Regulon. I'd start Regulon between those. Kudis or Mbumo? Uh, I'd say Mbumo. Scored last week. He almost played 90. Home to Sheffield United. I prefer him. Gordon or Isaac? Yeah, that one's difficult because Isaac's been excellent. He's on pens. But Gordon's blanked once in home games all season. Like It's game week 33 and he's blanked in one home game. So there's a clear trend there. So I'd say Gordon. Extra point per goal. Potential clean sheet points. Probably doesn't keep one. Um, Foden. Nothing on Foden. But obviously what we know is that he came off of a knock in the Champions League. So... I would be surprised if he starts. I'd be very surprised. There's no reason for Pep to risk him. <laughs> They've got a second leg against Real Madrid next week. 3 all in aggregate, so like, why risk him? Home to Luton. I know there's a lot of Foden owners, so you probably don't want to hear that, but I think I'm being realistic and saying I'd, I'd be very surprised if he starts. So in terms of Foden replacements, Luis Diaz, if you're not free hitting 34, if you are free hitting 34, then you could look towards players that double in 37. Uh, like Garnacho, Bruno. Um, who else doubles in 37? Gordon. Yeah, Gordon's a good one. I mean, Chelsea double, but there's no one really. It's just Palmer. I don't want, you wouldn't want to buy Mudrick or Sterling. I'm not sure Sterling even plays. I think he's a doubt. I mean, you could go left field with Gross. Like, he's got Burnley away this week and doubles in 37. No one's got more bonus points than Gross this season. Fun fact. Foden, Foden and Haaland start for Man City. Well, consider me humbled. I'll eat my words. I am amazed by that. There you go. From a lazy FPL. F Haaland and Foden start. Didn't expect that. That's mad from Pep. So maybe De Bruyne doesn't then. I'll let it the stream title. Yeah, they are trustworthy. They've shared lots of City team news before. Pat says, best content created by a country marmate. Thanks. You're saying the number one is down to earth. You're probably the number one down to earth. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate that. Thanks for your support on these streams as well. Wow. I did not expect that. Use the widgets. Yes. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah. I'm... So let's try it out. What font? Let me check the font as well. Have I got a Premier League font here? I think I do. How does that look? Hey, perfect. Bosh. Yeah. Remind me if I ever forget to do the widgets. Should I sh put the source as well? Like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? I think that's a very good addition to the streams. Comic Sans? Surely not. How do I resize it? What the hell? Oh, it's locked. There we go. Can't edit it. 
Hang on, let me move it up here. Like that. If there's anything else, I'll add to that. But that's what we've got so far. Wayne Dings, what a font. I used to think it was called Windings. Thoughts on Cunha? Yeah, I think uh, Cunha is a solid pick. I think he starts this game. Yeah, he's came off the bench twice, and uh, they've got a double next week, so... Amazing. I can't believe Foden starts. It obviously was a very minor issue. And then I'll put... I'll just put a little dash for bench to show you that we've got nothing so far. There we go. I'm just going to keep refreshing in the background uh, in case there's anything else that we get. I'm trying to check lots of different places at the same time. And then we can update the widgets as we go every stream. Give it a nice central place. So Foden and Haaland start. So yeah, I'm Captain Haaland then. I'm going to actually redo the captain poll based on that info because I just wonder if that might affect some people's thinking or perhaps not. Like now you know that Haaland starts because some people might have voted Salah because they weren't sure. I'll put it in the same order as well. We'll just see if the results change much, if at all. Crazy. I want to know about Lewis now, like, um, I was hoping Haaland didn't start because I was going to sell him for Tony as a one week punt, but I'm definitely not doing that now. So if, yeah, if there's a if there's news that Lewis starts, I'm going to go Zabane to Lewis and then I'll bench Gusto first on bench and just make the one move and take two into 34. Foden captain. Keyboard ASMR. Bumpy says triple captain Haaland today. Nah, I'd save it. I'd always use a triple captain in a double game week. We've got double game week 34. You've got Salah as an option. We've got 35. Palmer and Son are options. Or you've got 37 where Haaland's an option. Bradley uh, Hanna says two free transfers. Doughty to 8 Nori. Bowen to Diaz. Next week I'm thinking Son to Eze. Ariola to Raya. And Munoz to another double game week from minus 8. I've got three Liverpool. Wildcard 35. Yeah, Bowen to Diaz is great. I like that. Doughty to 8 Nori. I think that's fine as well. Obviously, 8 Nori's not guaranteed to start because he is flagged, but O'Neill sounded pretty positive. I listened to the presser. Uh, Dr. Yazan, thanks for becoming an FPL Focal member. Thanks for that, Dr. Yazan. Uh, Vardial starts as well. Let me pull that tweet up and I'll update our widget. So, Vardio. There we go. Running out of space. Probably actually, I need to make the widgets bigger, I think. Or I could take out the source, couldn't I? Because we've got two different sources now. It's a bit confusing. Just do it like that. How's that? Good news for anyone that's got Vardio. I want to know if uh, Rico Lewis starts. Let me ask. Is anyone else looking at Rico for a one week punt? Alright, I've asked. Does Lewis start? Munez or Cunha? I'd say Munez. Lewis starts. Lewis starts. I'm getting Lewis. There we go. FPL Tony's just uh, tweeted. Lewis starts. Imagine celebrating that Lewis starts. What have I become? There it is. Foden, Harlan, Lewis. So a lot of people are asking about De Bruyne. If there's anything else then uh, 
I'll pull that up. But let me just update the widget again. So starts Lewis. I mean, is anyone buying Lewis or is it just me? I'm going to have to make that widget bigger for the future. Lewis off at 59 minutes. Don't even say that, shorty. Don't even. Saka to Foden. It depends if you're free hitting in 34. I, don't, I wouldn't do it otherwise. And even then it's a bit risky. Like Foden could play 45 minutes. I haven't seen anything on 8 Nuri not being in the squad. O'Neill said I envision him, envisage him being in the squad. And he sounded quite confident on him. Uh, let me just catch up on Super Chat. Jared said he's got two free transfers and he's wildcarding. I'm in, Teddy. There we go. Welcome to the stream, Ted. Two free transfers and he's wildcarding in 35. He's got Poro, Poro and Gordon to Munez and Diaz. Poro and Gordon to Munez and Diaz and plays a Barnier. Uh, or Poro and eight Nori. Poro to eight Nori and then roll. And then Gordon to Diaz next week to free up funds for another free transfer. Not sure about... <sighs> Munez is okay. Diaz... But then you have to play Zabanye, so I'm not so keen on that. I'd, I think I'd rather chance 8 Nori, you know. I mean, we'll keep an eye if there's anything on um, 8 Nori, but I've not seen anything on him not being in the squad. Like, O'Neill sounded positive on him. Ah, it's difficult. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'd go with the Munoz and Diaz route, you know. No, I don't think I would. So I'm going back and forth on it. It's really close. I just you don't want to sell Gordon when he's got a home game, when he's blanked once a home all season, so I wouldn't do that. I would just go eight Nori and then buy Diaz next week. FPL one says Foden or Haaland captain. Well Haaland starts, Foden starts. So surely if they both start, Haaland's better. I think. Start Muniz or Solanke. I'd start, I'd start Solanke. I feel like they might get something against United. United are worse for expected goals conceded over the last six. I mentioned that earlier. They've got so many defenders out. Ten Hag played about 35 different back lines this season. So I'd give Solanke the nod. FPL Machine says, Son to Foden. No wild card or free hit to bring Son back in 35 for Saka. Nah, it feels a bit sideways to me. I don't think I'd do that. No, I wouldn't do that. I feel like Sun's a great option. I think people are overlooking him. I know he went down in price last night as well, but like, it's a bare bones Newcastle back line. I think New I think Spurs put a couple past them. Uh, Dusty Tones, thanks for the super chat as well. Appreciate that. Uh, and Benjamin Ashley, thanks for becoming an FPL focal member. Uh, Luke Smith says, Diaz to Foden. Or Zabane to a Kanji or Vardio. I would do Zabane to Vardio. I wouldn't sell Diaz. Unless you're on free hit 34, Luke. In which case, Diaz to Foden's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to answer a lot of these because it depends on your chip strategy. Is Doku a bad shout? I'd only get Doku if I was free hitting 34, wild card in 35. And if there was a leak that he starts. But there's quite a lot of ifs there. I imagine he does start. Um, I still need to make my transfer, by the way, so let me do that in a minute. Don't let me miss the deadline. Just trying to catch up on Super Chat, so I don't want to leave any answered. Start Garnacho or Solanke? Solanke. Uh, hello, friend says, should I start Watkins? Depends who the rest of your players are. It's hard to say about knowing the rest of your squad. Um, yeah. You're going to have to make a call based on the rest of your players there. Kemp says, son to Diaz. Poro to Ben White. I would uh, probably not do that. I think Sun's a great option this week. Like He's even a captaincy shout for me. I mean, these are the projected points for this week. And Sun's up there. What is he, joint fourth with Tony? I, I wouldn't be selling Sun personally. I'd probably just do that next week if it was me. 
and just go like Poro to Gabriel Saliba instead. Foden or Garnacho? Foden has a uh, has a. So if anyone's missed the team news, I have added widgets now. So on future streams, you'll have those widgets there for players that start or players that don't. Uh, we've heard that Haaland, Foden, and Vardy and Lewis all start. So I'm going to buy Lewis in a sec. That'll be my transfer. So captain poll results. 69% are on Haaland, 22% Salah, 3% Sun, and 6% Other. Uh, when are you wildcarding? I'm going to use it in game week 35. FPL down. Don't even say that. Let me make my transfer before the website crashes. So it'll be Zabane to Lewis. Add player. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I'll lock it in in a minute. Is FPL actually down? It's loading for me okay. It's loading for me. Saka to Foden only got the bench boost chip left. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate it if you've only got the bench boost. But if you're losing a player that doubles in 34, so it's not a move I would make. Don't refresh. It's down. Are you serious? Let me make this transfer before I can't. Easy. That locked in. That was fine. I think my bench is in the right order. That, that makes sense, doesn't it? Gusto, Mateta, and then Huang. I'm going to quickly tweak my team. Game week 33. So Barn. Rico Lewis. So, yeah, anyone joining the last minute, Haaland, Foden, Vardy, and Rico Lewis all start for Man City. Uh, Vardy also starts, yeah. I've added a widget on the left-hand side, guys. So if you, anyone wants to know who starts and who doesn't, uh, check the widget. Uh, Saleh says Cunha or Solanke. I'd say Solanke. Home game against the leaky United side. Cunha's got Forrest, and they've actually been solid defensively. Their underlying numbers are good. Benjamin says, who would you drop to the bench for Lewis? Uh, between Gabriel, Poro and Regulon. I'd drop Poro out of those three, Benjamin. I'd drop Poro. Oh wait, that's not updated. Refresh. There we go. Sorry. If anyone asking about Gusto, I've got him on my bench. Nothing on KDB. Let me just refresh. Edison and KDB start as well. There we go. Edison starts, KDB starts. There we go. Just about fitting that in there. I'll make the widget bigger for the next stream. Yeah, that's a brand new thing I've added to the stream. So I think that's quite a nice little thing there. The players that start, players that don't. I think I'm caught up in Super Chats. Whoever said that. Sun to Diaz, Poro to Ben White. I did that one. Yeah. What was it? Yeah, I think I'm caught up. Who said it? Salah. Yeah, I did do. I did do it. Cunha or Solanke. I said Solanke. Uh, anything on a kanji? Not as far as I've seen. So everything we've had so far is uh, on stream there. So Ed Harland, Edison, Foden, De Bruyne, Vardy, or Lewis start. That's everything that I've seen. You got four minutes till deadline. Uh, hopefully you found uh, the streams and the new widget useful. If you have, then uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel to catch all the future streams. Tony start? Yeah, Tony will start. It was a precaution last match. I think Tony's a great option. I wish I had a way to get him this week, but I don't. Three minutes till deadline. So Harland, Edison, Foden, De Bruyne, Vardy and Lewis all start for City. So I'm captain in Harland, vice-captain Salah. Harland's leading the captain poll, 68%, and then Salah, 23%, Son, 3%, and other 6%. That is the Captain Paul results. Did I miss it, Andreas? 
Uh, he says, 8 Nori to Lewis, or is it better to hold 8 Nori for their double? I can bench 8 Nori for Andreas this week. Only one free transfer, so I can roll. Yeah, I wouldn't make that, Andreas. I wouldn't make that move. I know it's a good move for this week, but then you're losing a doubler, so if, I, I just think longer term it doesn't make sense. Benjamin Ashley with the 10 gifted memberships. Jesus, thanks very much for that. That's very generous. You didn't have to do that. What was, the, what was the emoji we used to spam in the chat? Was it the teddy one? Yeah, teddy emoji. Since I've got them on my shoulder. Teddy emojis in the chat. Start Bradley or Dallow. Start Bradley. KDB or Fodum? I mean, they're both great. Nothing separating them. I suppose KDB. Because KDB didn't play midweek. Foden did start, so... Yeah, hard to predict. Simon Banfield says, great job today, Oscar. Yeah, thanks, Simon. It was a good stream. We had uh, FPL World number one, Tom, join us for the first hour of the stream. It was good to get his insight and his thoughts. And he's got Foden, by the way, so I bet he's absolutely relieved by that. Mugiwara, thanks for becoming an FPL Focal member as well. Thanks for that. Appreciate your support, Mugiwara. Pat says, does Norrie start being Regulon or Roll? I'd, I'd rather start Regulon, or are you saying transfer him out? If you're not free hitting 34, Pat, I wouldn't sell Nori. It doesn't make sense to me to do that. I would start Nori. Just keep him. Uh, yeah, thank Oh, Jürgen Klopp with the 10 gifted as well. Am I Jeez, what a crazy stream this has been. Thanks very much for that, Jürgen. Thanks for the gifted memberships, everyone. So I've made my move. I went to Barnier to Rico Lewis. Uh, Ishan says, Salah hat trick loading. Don't even. His effective ownership is going to be over 100%, isn't it? Guaranteed. While you're all here, if anyone's not aware, I've got a website, fpl.page. Uh, FPL and look, we've got a live rank widget hat widget here. Look how fast it is. One. Look, I'm just chucking in IDs here. Look how fast it is. We partnered up with FPL Game Week. Plus, there's loads more here, like effective ownership, fixture ticker, price changes, the Players League. Um... Yeah, there's loads on there. FPL.page is the URL, so check that out as well. Loads of goodies on there, and it's completely free forever. Even though I'm losing lots of money on it every month, it's a, a passion project. So, that's, uh, yeah, it's a good website. Jürgen Klopp, thanks again for those 10 gifted, uh, and Benjamin Ashley for the other 10. And uh, thank you all for your support in this stream and for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, don't forget to like before you go and subscribe. Not great going into this one with no Foden and no De Bruyne, but it is what it is. I think it made sense for me to stick with Sun. The only way I could have got Foden was selling Sun, and I just don't think that would have made sense for me, but maybe I'm wrong. So, Game Week 34, I'm going to probably sell Sun because he blanks, and I'll buy Eze, and I'm not sure about the second move yet. I might just go Palmer to... Uh, who might have missed it? Might have... Oh, Diaz. I might buy Diaz and Eze next week. That's what I'm potentially looking to do in Game Week 34. Shall we try this thing again? Because last week I completely messed it up. you got to name the players that play for both clubs. Argentina and Forest. That's hard. Argentina and Forest. Have they got any Argentina players right now? Argentina Forest. Or if anyone's got a name for another one. Buendia. We can go for Buendia. For uh, Villa and Argentina. Montiel. Ah. Yes. Okay. What about Argentina West Ham? Uh, what was his name? Oh, that's going to really annoy me. What was... Lanzini. Yes, that was it. All right, we've got three. We're smashing through this. Liverpool and Forest. Who played for Liverpool and Forest? Oh, yeah, Mascarano was a good shout as well. Liverpool and Forest. Tevez is another good shout. I know the Wales one. That would be Brennan Johnson, won't it? Nico Williams. Ah, oh, yes. Good shout, good shout, Nico. Doing well here. Liverpool and Villa. 
Origi. Origi didn't play for Villa, did he? Aaron Ramsey. Did he play for Liverpool? Coutinho. Yeah, good shout. Liverpool and West Ham. Liverpool, West Ham. Uh, Benteke. Did Benteke play for West Ham? He was at Villa, wasn't he? Or did he play at West Ham as well? Yeah, Danny Ings is a good shout. We've got two more. Villa, Villa and Wales. A Welsh Villa player. Andy Carroll. Oh, yeah, that was a good shout. We need a Welsh... A Welsh Villa player. I can't think of any. Not... Ca yeah, Carroll was for the West Ham Liverpool one. Neil Taylor. Is that right? I'm not 100% on that one. Why is the title FPL Rank 1? We had uh, number one in the world join us on the stream earlier. He joined for the first hour of the stream. Uh, Tom Hadley. So if anyone wants to catch that, rewind it. Heskey's not Welsh. James Chester. Uh, yes. Yes, great shout. I'm pretty sure he was Welsh. Do we risk this? Is that right? Bellamy? James Chester. Is he Welsh? 100%. No, he was born in Warrington. Is he Welsh? Oh, yeah, he is. Bang on. Yes, one more. West Ham and Wales. West Ham and Wales. Last one. P Pookie. Bellamy. Collins. James Collins. Is he Welsh? Done. Locked in. Smashed it. 8% of all answers, 20 success rate. Oh yeah, we messed it up last week. I ended I ended it wrong straight away. I wish I didn't remember last week's failure. Never mind. Yeah, well played everyone. Right. Anything else to talk about or are we done? Do we do an FPL challenge team or do we end the stream there? Pookie's far from finished. He's finished, not finished. Or maybe he is finished and finished. Yeah, Foden starts. Is there anyone that we could raid who's live still? FPL Juice. Yeah, we could head over to FPL Juice. How about that? FPL challenge? Alright, we'll do a challenge team. Let's do it. Let's do a challenge team. So, who do we go in goal? Kelleher. I feel like we have to start with the obvious. We've got to have Salah. We've got to have Haaland. We've got to have Lewis, right? Now that we know he starts. I feel like you have to go all in one fixture, don't you? For a clean sheet to have a chance of winning the whole thing. Shoulder cat. It's a dog. I don't think you can see his head, can you? There you go, you can see him now. That's a dog, that's my chihuahua. Uh, who else do we have here? Or maybe we go Edison and go all in on the city clean sheet. Because that's your best chance of winning the whole thing, isn't it? Foden. Is there any other leaks about city defence? Vardy or Lewis? No, Foden, De Bruyne. Oh, now we've got too many City, though, haven't we? We'll take up Vardio. Okay, Bradley. Who else? Who else should we have here? Any forwards with a good fixture or midfielders? Um, Palmer? Or is that too obvious? Palmer home to Everton, I feel like, makes sense. And he's cheap. Forwards? Regulon, good shout. Oops. Actually, just Googled that. Defenders, Regulon. Oh, Tony. And you know what? I think we go 3 5 2, Tony and Bumo. Do you agree with that? I 
feel like that makes sense. So here we go as the last striker. Solanke. I don't, I don't know if I can afford this, by the way. I'm going to have to check this. I don't think I'm going to be able to, am I? I think I might have to have Munoz to afford this team. Auto pick. Oh, it does fit in, actually. How much in the bank? 0.4 mil. There we go. I actually think that's it. I think we've done it. That was easy. We've got uh, Keller on the bench. Won't need him, to be fair. Van Heck, Tosin, Wood. Yeah, I think that's nice. Because you've got to go in all in on like one or two fixtures, don't you? And I think City, you go five City, home to Luton. Like, now that we know De Bruyne, Foden and Haaland start, I mean, that's crazy. I did not expect that. Adingra. I think we got it right there. Oh, wait. I didn't have Tony. Yeah, it's impossible to get Tony in there, isn't it? Without losing. Let me check. Tony. How much are we over? Minus 2.8 mil. Hang on. Let's go... Tosin down to a dirt cheap defender. I really want to have Tony. I feel like he smashes it this week. We'll go like Bulldog. Gonna go proper cheap on the bench. Taylor. Minus 2.1. And then we got. Ah, it's so close. 4 mil. 4 mil for the midfielder. I don't think there's any 4 mil midfielders. 4.5. Who's the cheapest? Fort Anderson. Ah, oh, that's annoyingly close. We're 0.2 mil off. Oh yeah, we can just... Yeah, there we go. So we go Archer. Oh my god, the bench on this is going to be the worst thing you've ever seen. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, look, just about. Perfect. So that's me on the FPL Challenge. Obviously, if there's any, like, news on benchings for these other guys, then I'll check. Oh, no, because I'm playing Anderson. No, it's not going to work. It doesn't work, does it? Because I can't even afford Garnacho. Oh, that's annoying. Chukwemeka, but he's not going to play, is he? Mainu? Should we just go bold and go Mainu? Mainu to get something against Bournemouth. I mean, he scored a great goal last match. There we go. Screw it. Mainu's in. Because I want to have Tony and, and Bumo. Like, I think it's that much of an edge that you want to pick to win this thing. I don't think I can save money anywhere else. Like, I can go Keller to a 3.8 mil keeper, but yeah, it doesn't get me anywhere. Anyway, that's it. Thanks all for tuning into the stream. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck this game week. Um, yeah, I'm going out today. Uh, with friends, so I'll probably be around for the first game in the three o'clock, and then uh, I'll miss the action later. But at least we know Harlan starts now. So good luck to all of you. Thanks for tuning into this deadline stream. Um, this was how I, my team ended up in the end. So I went to Barnier to Lewis, and then the rest is as you were. So I got a second transfer to take into game week 34, and I'll definitely be spending both transfers. That's it from me. Focal out. <laughs>